What's going on guys? So I want to talk to you about a little principle called time versus money. Which one of these do you value more? Well, I can tell you after accumulating quite a bit of wealth over the last few years and being mentored by some extremely wealthy people myself, almost every single one of those wealthy people, actually not almost, every single one of those wealthy people value their time more than they value money. And I'll give you a couple of examples of what I'm talking about here. But if you are sitting here, you're trying to scale your business, you've got a couple of different options and how you can go about scaling your business. So let's just say you are at $10,000 per month right now in your business. Good for you. You got a little bit of success. You know, you're, you're getting something done in your business, but you want to get to 30 K per month as an initial goal. Uh, this isn't that big of a real estate business to be honest, but let's just say your initial goal is to get to 30 K per month in your wholesaling business or your real estate business. So in order to get to 30 K option, number one is you can try to figure this out on your own. And typically if you're going to try to figure this out on your own, it's going to take you probably 12 months, uh, if not more than that to try and get to this level consistently uh, on your own. And remember, this is this is $360,000 per year. Mind you, that's that's a fair amount. Again, for a wholesaling business, it's not that, not that big, but uh, this will change a lot of people's lives. So option number two is you can invest a little bit of money into coaching and you can shorten the time frame that it takes you to get to 30K per month. So typically, if somebody's investing in high quality coaching, at least for our students, uh, it's very, very realistic that you can get to 30K per month in 90 days. Uh, and that's being ultra conservative. We have students that get there in their first 30 days. Some get there uh, in 60 days. But I'm being conservative when I say 90 days to get to 30K per month uh, versus 12 months trying to figure it out on your own. So what we really need to pay attention to though is the opportunity cost of the first option. So if you are uh, at 10K and you're wanting to get to 30K, that's a $20,000 per month difference there, which would be $240,000 over the course of a year. $240,000 is the difference over a year that this income is. So you're missing out on $240,000 in a year if you're trying to figure this out on your own and it takes you a year to get to that level versus investing a little bit of money into coaching and mentorship that will almost assuredly get you there within 90 days, sometimes less than that. Now it doesn't work out like that for every single person uh, because most people, a lot of people don't take the level of action they need to. But if you come in and you take the level of action that you need to, it's very realistic that you can get up to 30 K. Many of our students are doing significantly more than this, but that's very realistic. And you are gaining, you know, $240,000 essentially, if you just stayed at $30,000 per month, which you're going to have the tools to scale infinitely higher than that. Now, how it worked out for us, we got to $1 million in our first year, but we invested 100K. So 100K invested to get to 1 million, 1.1 million in our first year. I will do this all day long. I will gladly invest $100,000 in order to get to 1.1 million. But guess what happened with this same 100K investment? We did another million dollars over the next six months. So by the 18 month mark, we had done $2 million in our wholesaling business and we invested $100,000. And the reason why we were able to see that exponential growth is because we got access to tools and resources that we can apply to our business over and over and over again and continually yield benefits and rewards from those skills and resources that we gained. 
So we invested 100K, but we have skills and resources that will serve us for the rest of our life. Now, our initial, you know, 100K was divided between several different coaches. It wasn't just one coach. It was several different coaches. And that got us 2 million in 18 months. It's a good thing I am not paid to draw on a whiteboard. So uh, 2 million in 18 months out of 100K invested in coaches. Now, if you are trying to get to 30K per month, that will be $360,000 per year. So 360K per year. And if you are not, what, what are you willing to invest in order to get to $360,000 per year in your business. Are you willing to invest like 50K, 30K? You know, if you invest 30K to get to $360,000 per year, is that worth it? Is that a good investment? I would say that it is because what will happen is that you invest 30K into coaching and mentorship it's going to yield a lot more than $360,000 because those skills and resources will serve you for many, many years to come, meaning this gets multiplied out over multiple years that you will be able to use these skills that you are learning from high level coaching and mentorship. So guys, that's all I have for you right now. Uh, question I leave you with, do you value your time or your money more? It's worked out really well for us to invest in high-level coaching and mentorship. It's how we've scaled multiple businesses to the seven-figure level. And uh, it's worked out really well for our students as well. We've got, had students that literally take out a $15,000 loan to pay for our coaching program and marketing expenses. And within their first 45 days, they get like 40 k back and they paid for their whole coaching mentorship, marketing, and now they've got a skill set that will serve them for many years to come. Hey, if you're looking for help growing your real estate business, I have attached some free resources for you in the description below. Go check them out. And if you haven't, click the like button and click the subscribe button so that you get notified of the new videos that are coming out every single week.